Rade Rade World Racers, Sabina and Roger here. Let's watch little Krishna episode 10, The Charge of the Monster Horse. Hmm. Let's see how this demon fails <laughs> to get Krishna this time. <laughs> Pavali festival. They will mm -hmm. surely make us shine as bright as the festival's lights. <laughs> Do you see the way those poor girls cannot even look at me? It's your magnificent good looks, dear brother. Blinds them. More likely, they don't want me to see that they are making ornaments to adorn themselves for the Festival of Lights. Let's see if they are willing to share their decorations. <clears throat> Please excuse my intrusion, dear Gopis. I couldn't help but notice what beautiful ornaments you are making. My friends and I would like to celebrate the Bavali as well. And I was hoping you might spare a few of your pearls so that they can look as fine as you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know Subala and Madhu cared so much about their looks. Oh, I didn't mean them. I meant Hamsi and Harini. <laughs> <laughs> Dear friends, are you so vain and proud that you cannot even hear my humble pleas to share your ornaments with these noble cows? <laughs> <laughs> You're too humble, Krishna. These pearls are fit for kings and queens. Why ask for only enough for two of your cows? Why not ask us to decorate your entire herd? <laughs> <laughs> I do not require all your pearls, Lalita. Just enough to decorate the four horns of my two favorite cows. I'm so sorry, Krishna. But I do not see even one pearl good enough for your cows. <laughs> <laughs> Clever gods. Forget it. I'll find my own pearls. <laughs> hmm, didn't feel like sharing, huh? They have no <laughs> respect for cows or me. But they will when I'm done with them. Oh, yes, they will. Other demons have tried and paid with their lives. What makes you think that you can succeed where they have failed? Because I am Keshi and the earth trembles beneath me. <laughs> I will find your angel of death, King Kamsa, and crush him beneath my hooves. <laughs> He's gonna be pets. Uh oh. <laughs> That's the silliest thing you've ever dreamed up, Krishna. Trust me, Mother. If you give me your pearls, I will plant them in the field and grow so many I can decorate all of our cows for the Pavali. <laughs> oh, my dear son. Pearls don't sprout like fruit. They come from oysters in the distant ocean. Please, Mother, you must give them to me. I promise they will sprout in three days, and you'll have more pearls than you can ever imagine. I simply cannot ever say no to my darling Krishna. <laughs> Thank you, Mother. Thank you. Aww. 
<laughs> oh, how I wish we were planting cool, sweet yogurt instead of pearls. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, Madhu. Yogurt doesn't grow on trees. It grows on your belly. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard the news, Radha? Everyone is talking about Brindavan's newest farmer. I heard he's planting pearls. Would you plant my bangles, Krishna, and grow me a new pair? <laughs> <laughs> when magnificent pearls begin popping up all over my field, we'll see who's teasing whom. You don't suppose we could plant lettuce, do you? No, Madhu. <laughs> but you've given me an idea. Here's what I want you and Subala to do. See you guys, Radha. Girls, wait. If you want more pearls to plant, I'm afraid we're fresh out. Oh, we have plenty of pearls. But uh, Krishna asked if you could be so kind as to give us some of your delicious milk. He must be very thirsty from all his farm work. It's not that. He wants the milk to water his pearl plants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid our milk is not good enough for such a noble purpose. Vishaka is right. Krishna's sacred purse requires something better, like cactus milk. <laughs> hmm. <gasps> <laughs> I have heard rumors that the brewers of Dalavern saw a young boy slay Denukasura. <laughs> Is this so? Peacock! He wore peacock feather on his head, yellow dhoti, and he bled fruit! <laughs> <laughs> but you're not being fair, Krishna. Your pearl plants aren't the only ones who need milk to grow. You can have all the milk you want, Madhu. Just as soon as the pearls are as plump as you. Krishna! <laughs> Even the bees are drunk with their aroma. Ah, what is that delightful smell? Your pearls, mother. They're sprouting. <laughs> They're sprouting, all right. But not pearls. Thorns. <laughs> Krishna, look. <laughs> Whoa. They're oh, big bigger one. and more beautiful than the ones we planted. <laughs> Surely it's another of Krishna's tricks. They must be fake. This is the finest pearl I've ever seen. <laughs> Just as I feared. The quality of Krishna's pearls puts the best of ours to shame. Maybe if we beg him, he will share some of his with us. After the way we treated him? The only thing he'll share with us is his ridicule. We'll be the laughing stock of the Deepavali festival. No, we won't. We saw Krishna grow his pearls. It's easy. We'll just plant our own seeds. No. Yes. No. Our pearls will be twice as beautiful as his. Have you all gone mad? <laughs> just because Krishna made it look easy, you think you can do it? He lifted Govardhan Hill. Can we? <laughs> Growing pearls is impossible. Even for demigods. Krishna accomplishes such miracles all the time. Have you ever performed even a single miracle? Growing pearls is not a miracle. It wasn't Krishna's magic. It was the mystic potency of Vrindavan soil. 
Hmm. Yes, the soil of Vrindavan is transcendental, as is the water hmm. of the Yamuna. We'll plant our pearls and water them not just with milk, but with butter and ghee as well. Then our wells will be even bigger and more beautiful than Krishna's. Come, wait. <laughs> Why use these inferior pearls when our mother's pearls are so much bigger? Yes! The bigger the seeds, the better the fruit. Vishaka! Uh -oh. Radha! Oh. I promise, mother, you will get ten times the pearls in return. Are you girls sure of what yes, you're doing? Yes, mother. As sure as we are of the sunrise. They're growing is weeds. But with all oh. the butter and ghee they're pouring out, they will be very tasty weeds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a disaster. You want them to grow pearls? No, I want them to stop wasting that delicious <laughs> butter and ghee. <laughs> Krishna, my dear friend, could you loan me your yellow dhoti flute and peacock feather? Oh, you're a clever one, Madhu. I think the girls might just share some of their butter and ghee with the tired, humble pearl farmer. <laughs> <laughs> Who's there? Krishna, <laughs> if you've come to bargain for us to steal your pearls, you're wasting your time. I'm too ashamed to show my face. It is obvious you are better pearl farmers than I. If only you'd share a little of your yummy butter and ghee, I might be able to make my inferior pearls grow half as big and beautiful as yours will surely be. Now that you've come to your senses and humbled yourself to us, I suppose we could spare you a little. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Oh, Gopikas, come here. Have you noticed that our pearl plants look different than Krishna's? Oh! <laughs> Lalita is right. Our field has produced nothing but thorn bushes. Shh. We mustn't let anyone find out, especially our mothers. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> I hear you had a prosperous harvest. And who told you? A little birdie with a thorn stuck in his foot. <laughs> <laughs> Come, my friends, we must decorate our cows for the festival. <laughs> our mothers will be very upset when they find out we've lost their balls. I tried to warn you, but you wouldn't listen to me. <laughs> it was Krishna. What do you mean, Vishaka? He was in the reeds, remember? He and his friends probably uprooted our plants and replaced them with thorn bushes. <sighs> this time he has gone too far. I'm going to tell Mother Yashoda. Tell her what? That Krishna grew pearls so big and beautiful that you had to have some, so you gambled your mother's pearls and won thorns? <sighs> Lalita's right. Whether Krishna tricked us or we tricked ourselves, our situation is the same. We have no pearls. And if we don't find some, our mothers will never forgive us. But pearls are not easily acquired in Vrindavan. Where will we find some? We have no choice. We must humble ourselves and ask Krishna if he will sell us <laughs> some of his pearls. Where is the boy? Uh, the boy in the 
yellow doty with a flute and peacock feather. I'm going to destroy him. <laughs> No. I don't think I can look at any for a month. Oh no. I found you, our angel of death. Me? I'm no angel. No, you are surely not Kamsa's destroyer. For you will never get your chance to kill him once I crush you beneath my hooves. <laughs> He's not the one you're after. Uh -huh. <laughs> At least the other boy had some meat on him. <laughs> your death will be no challenge. <laughs> Don't be afraid. He's a demon. Casey's no more dangerous than a child's rocking horse. <laughs> you shall see how dangerous I am, you impudent brat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't ever want to pretend to be you again, Krishna. No matter how much butter and ghee it might get me. A wise choice, Madhu. Very wise indeed. <laughs> Brother, it looks like it's been a bountiful harvest. Oh. <laughs> yes, what a pity the Gopika's harvest was not so successful. They must have all been eaten by pearl worms. <laughs> <laughs> we heard that Krishna is selling his surplus pearls, Subala, and have come to purchase the best ones. And with what do you plan to purchase them? Nut milk and butter, I hope. Hmm. Are you not the same gopis who denied my request for a few pearls to decorate my cows or share a few pails of milk for my pearl crop? 
I'd rather throw all my pearls in the Yamuna than give you a single one. Hmm. But we can pay with gold. <laughs> all the wealth in your homes, including the houses themselves, cannot purchase the least of my pearls. Why are you being so difficult with us, Krishna? <laughs> Please, Krishna, we are willing to pay even more than your pearls are worth so that our mothers may have them. Your mothers? Well, that's different. I am, as you know, very soft-hearted when it comes to mothers. <laughs> Aren't I, boys? Oh, oh yes. Yeah, yeah. Krishna loves his mother. And ours, ours too. too. Your mothers <laughs> shall have my very best pearls. Oh, oh, thank you, Krishna. Thank you, Krishna. You're too kind. Yes, I am. But don't thank you. <laughs> thank your sweet, loving mothers. Reminds me of. I got some pearls here too. Mm. Oh, yeah. Ta da! Ta da! Pearls. <laughs> <laughs> what a cute story. Wow. So, of course, Krishna saves the day once again. Yeah. yeah. I didn't have any doubts, right? <laughs> but that, uh, yeah, it seems like the demons are getting bigger and badder and more vicious and more confident, it seems. Oh. Like that Horus, oh. yeah, he actually went to Kamsa mm -hmm. and was like, I'll take care of him for you. So he actually, you know, volunteered. <laughs> and then not a very good plan, right? Which is stupid. So yeah. they might become more confident, but also more stupid. Yeah. Because if they can't, Put one one together, you know that Krishna defeated all the demons, yeah, you know, mm -hmm. and in brutal ways. And I think, like the visuals are very, I don't know, it's <laughs> interesting how they portray the killings themselves. Ooh. Well, it's got to be like captivating, <laughs> and in the world that we're living in right now, well, we just got to be honest, violence sells, right? So, yeah, it's kind of where we're at in our human evolutionary mm. journey. But, yeah, it seems like movies nowadays are getting more and more violent. But with that being said, yeah, Krishna's got to take care of the <laughs> demons. The one scenes where he's punching <laughs> punching the horse, but it looks like he's punching the screen, right? Oh, yeah, it was very well done. Yeah, that was, ter <laughs> that was terrifying. <laughs> I like he was punching me. <laughs> But, um, yeah, but the, even the scene growing the pearls, right? So mm. Krishna's miracles again, right? And then at the end, giving the pearls for the mothers. Right? <laughs> so he loves, loves the mothers. Yeah, I would have liked to see that festival. I thought that's, oh, yeah. that's going to be in the show maybe, but mm -hmm. unfortunately not. Maybe in the next episode. Mm -hmm. So did he say Diwali? Was it said the Festival of Lights, but... And then I think oh, he said Diwali, right? I don't know. Uh, oh, Festival of Lights. So, oh, of course, yeah. yeah. And it sounded like they moved. Did I miss that? Who moved? They moved. The mother said, oh, we moved from this place to oh, this place. Yeah. So, you know, we don't encounter demons anymore, but they still yeah. find you. Yeah, I think that's in the backstory. Maybe when we watch the, the Baby Krishna episodes, it'll touch on that. Because, yeah, I think that... So, Kamsa is his uncle... And they were living there, I think, at the time. But then Kamsa found out that, mm -hmm. you know, the the eighth, seventh or eighth child was going to be his angel of death. And then, of course, tried to kill all the children. And then mm -hmm. Krishna oh, okay. got out of there. Oh, so. I thought they moved now again. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So she was talking of before. So they're still in Rindavan. Yeah. Oh, okay. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Um, but yeah, lots of, uh, lots of information. So we're learning the story. And of course, eventually I'll dive into the scriptures that are actually, you know, teaching about this. I definitely want to read that someday. Yeah. So anyways, 
<laughs> if you like this video, please hit that like button. Remember to subscribe. It really, really helps the channel. Let us know what you think down in the comments and any tidbits and bits of information you have for us. And remember, raise yourself. And raise the world. Thank you so much, everyone. And a very special thank you to all our members. We love you. Peace.